Hi, if you would like to know everything about 1858 Geosphere Zero Oxygen Watch from Mobla and Minerva Watch from Mobla, discover with me right here watching this video in an exclusive chat with Mr. Nikola Bolesky, CEO of Mobla. I really believe that that the geosphere, um, yes, geosphere is is, is one oxygen. one of the iconic faces of Mont Blanc, yes. and, um, and and a very interesting concept with the zero oxygen uh, concept. And if you remember last year, we had the pleasure of having Nims Dai going up yes. up to the uh, to the top of the Everest wearing a zero oxygen uh, chrono geosphere. Yes. And, Can uh, we show a little bit? Yeah. And, and that yeah. particular watch, yes. I think first, as I said, the iconic, uh, the iconic face of Mont Blanc with this uh, uh, geos geosphere uh, functionality, and then a very kind of uh, expertise, but also craftsmanship and, 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 and revolution, which is a zero oxygen concept. What does and it the mean? Case back. Sorry, yeah, please explain I, I just, zero oxygen. I, I, if I may, because it's something yeah, I think yeah, yeah, very absolutely. interesting. Absolutely. When we are producing that watch, it's produced in an environment where we take out completely uh, oxygen, and replacing it with a neutral gas, uh, which is nitrogen. And, um, and therefore, there is no oxygen in contact with the movement. And why is it important? It's because then it, the, ox the oxygen is creating oxidation in the movement, exactly. in the grease and so on. Taking it out is reducing drastically that oxidation and therefore is bringing a longer life to your piece. But you're very right to mention something also quite interesting, and, and that's also what I like, you know, in these uh, in these watches is easy uh, <coughs> change of the of interchangeable the, straps, yes. and another unique another right. unique part of Mont Blanc case back, which is a, a, a unique technique developed for us. It's a laser technology. <coughs> that allows to create all the landscape on the, on the case back. And with the speed, uh, with the duration, with the angle of the ladder, you have oxidation of a titanium uh, case back. And that creates all these colors that are completely natural and that will remain forever. So 20 years later, the case back will look exactly the same. Yes. What I understand is uh, this is also unique each of the story of the mountain absolutely right? always unique and in and, size uh, and that's the story of uh, of uh, of Messner yes, uh, yes on this one yes. when he was uh, when he was climbing in 1979 and uh, the the K2 so this is the second one so this is third? this is the second one the third one is the Minerva uh, watch Mont Blanc is a very exclusive maison because in fact we don't have one we have two manufacturers two manufacturers in Switzerland and one of these manufacturers that is, that is uh, located in Villeray yeah. is an amazing uh, manufacturer where we are very, where we produce every part of the components, everything in house, and uh, where we are very famous for monopusher chronograph. Chronograph, but Minerva was also the oldest company known for chronographs. That's actually what I. Think. From 1858, so we are celebrating 165 years of the Minerva expertise and uh, with beautiful, uh, uh, really hand uh, beveled, you know, on every, comp on every part of the, of the case back, you know, on the movement. And what is extremely interesting is last year we introduced fluted bezel. the fluted bezel, which is uh, an historical bezel from 1927 of Minerva, which is the first fluted bezel in the watch industry. And this year, we are creating a revolution in the chronograph, in the watchmaking industry, because we are not only having that fruited bezel that is this design element of the Minerva movement inside the Mont Blanc watch, but also we are creating a functional bezel. Functional bezel. And, 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 and that's quite, quite amazing. You have to imagine that basically, when I'm turning, uh, when I'm, when I'm turning the, uh, the bezel, okay, you start the chronograph. Oh, okay. Then I'm turning again, you stop, and then I'm turning again, 
you reset. So there are so, no pushers. So it's there is the no bezel. there is no pusher, and the bezel is in fact creating the, a, a, the like you would push a, a button. Mm -hmm. Is creating the function of the chronograph. So, so something cool. really amazing that to recreate the movement to make it happen. Oh yeah, and, that's exactly. And that and that's why we. May do. I see that? And also in a very interesting material, that particular piece, it comes in a lime gold uh, material, lime gold, which is an exclusivity that we have uh, on our gold uh, watches at Mont Blanc. So it's a very. Uh, uh, specific color and uh, that we that we that have been developed for Mont Blanc. And why the years are mentioned like this? All the years at the back are, are in fact reflecting uh, or highlighting an innovation at um, at Minerva. Right. So you have, for example, start with uh, 1927, which was the creation of the foot of Pezol, and all this to create to explain all the innovation that happened throughout the the, the life of uh, of our Minerva uh, manufacture and. And what is quite interesting, in fact, if you, if you look at um, this watch, it's called the Anvil, the uh, timekeeper. So it's really recreating the fluted bezel here. Then you have all the components of the chronograph with the levers. And you start. So you stop, the bezel, ha bezel would have the reset. functions of the movement itself. So it's the, the movement would be connected. Exactly. Connected. So we, we recreated the movement so that as if you were pushing, that you're having a push button yeah. with a mono pusher uh, chronograph, you are creating the same function, same function through the bezel. So a very complex innovation, and I think a true remarkable revolution in the world of a chronograph. Are you sold out already? How many pieces? The question is not to be sold out, it's 28 pieces. The question is to ensure that we have the right client wearing every single watch. How beautifully said, and it's so cute. But this is a limited edition. Right? Twenty-eight pieces. Twenty-eight limited. pieces. Twenty-eight pieces. Yeah. Very, very limited. That particular one. Yeah. And hopefully, at least one from India. Customer from India. I'm sure. I'm already thinking of a few ones actually. <laughs> that I'm, I know. I, I'm certain, certain. So, so that will bring you to India back again. That we for sure. I don't need that watch to bring me back to India. I have to say. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> If what what you would you say on the big potential second hand market today? Customer is uh, looking at sustainability mm -hmm. and is considering pre loved watches in a big big way. What is more blasting than that? You know, I, again, um, if I go back to these uh, to, to these uh, watches, I think that the innovation behind those watches, the scarcity of those watches. At, uh, in our Villeray mm -hmm. manufacture, we have very limited resources. We can only manufacture X, piece, X number of pieces per year. So, I do believe we have more customers than we can than we have uh, for, that we have watches being produced. But at the end, that's a a nice way to enter into second hand because huh? I see people maybe they won't have access to the, one of these twenty eight pieces, but they know that at a later stage maybe they will have access to the second hand. So, I think it's something that's developing very fast that is very interesting and that shows as well that we started with our writing talking a lot about transmission how many people receive from their father or grandfather uh, a Mont Blanc or Master you know as a legacy and are proud to, to write I gave mine to my son and uh, when he entered into university and uh, and even though it was a font and then a bit more complex he's very proud and I can tell you he is using it so and I think it's the same that legacy can have another way with the second hand, but that's exactly the same principle for me. How okay. to continue the life of a product. You know, and, and, and that goes through different owners, either through a direct uh, ownership or through a second hand market. So, so a big potential for sure. So would Mobla have a special focus on that pre-owned? Because there are brands who are going the pre-owned way as well, having a special division only looking after the pre-owned market. For the time being, you know, as you have seen now, uh, we have redeveloped a lot of um, new pieces, creating a, a very consistent uh, design, uh, rebuilding the whole um, Minerva competence uh, within the Mont Blanc watches. I think it's the first stage before we would enter into a pre owned You know, step by step, Correct. for the time being, I want to make sure that people understand how innovative, creative uh, uh, we are 
and and we see so many customers now coming and um, and the next step for sure will be uh, into the field. Any message for the Indian customers or Indian audience who are listening to you right now? You know, for me, it's always the same. Uh, I always say that Mont Blanc is a kind of a family, and um, and uh, maybe not everyone enter every room, but uh, it's one big house, and uh, yeah. and uh, and I would really welcome, uh, especially knowing how also Indian customers are sensitive to our, our writing instrument, I would invite them, if they have the opportunity to be in Europe, to come to Hamburg and to visit the Mont Blanc house, which is the maison that is dedicated to writing instrument, that is dedicated to inspire writing, and that gives you the second face of the maison uh, next to the, the watches, which is this amazing innovation as well and storytelling that we have in writing instrument. So is any customer who genuinely of this desire can write and request you can just, to visit. Just go to the website, just register, and you can do and you can go and visit and visit the Mont House. Fantastic! That's on this note. I think we end and thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure as discussing always. with you mm -hmm. as always.